walk into this big round space um, that's so gently lit. The first thing I was really struck by when I looked around was um, the colour and pattern and vividness of how people were dressed. I'd um, never seen so much vibrancy and I felt really intrigued, especially since I started to understand about um, the meaning of the of the cloth that people were wearing and I wanted to feel like I could have a part of that to express my own identity um, especially feeling a connection with a part of my ancestry. My name is Samia Roxon and I'm from Ghana and these are two masks fresh from Ghana that my dad brought back. So we have quite a few of these in my home. When I was younger, I was um, I was really scared of them when I first brought them back and I didn't really understand like why they were there. But for my mum and my dad, it really reminded them of home. And when I got older and I started to learn more about Africa, um, they stopped being scary. And when I thought of art, I just thought of things like this, like African art, not like Western art. I think they have quite Afrocentric quote features. I think it's really beautiful and I love it and it makes me proud. My name is Anne Joseph. I was born on the island of Grenada and traveled to, to London. From London, I went on a cultural visit to Ghana, West Africa, where I visited many sites one of them, Elmina Castle. And this represented to me um, the slave trade where I witnessed an experience, a spiritual experience on the suffering of my people who were transported through um, Elmina Castle. From there, I traveled to a village in Sanwa in Ghana uh, to visit a funeral um, party. And while they were drumming and singing, but I noticed there were some rocks on the ground and I picked up a couple of the rocks and to me that represented the footsteps from which my forefathers had trodden and up to now I still keep the rocks at home because it, it reminds me of my people. I am Yorel from Jamaica and I made this dress when I was coming here. The same day I was coming here, I made this skirt. Well, is that day I saw it in the store and I asked, asked my sister for it. So she said, take, take it. Same day I come over the morning, I go into the store and I see she have a little store and I ask her to give me she can give me this piece of material and she said yes and I take it and go upstairs and I started to sew, cut it out and start to sew this dress. I don't make it with a pattern, I just cut out the skirt because I can do freehand and we bring it from, from Jamaica and carry it come here.